Hello everyone. Today I'm very, very excited to show you around Nux Swift Search, a Nux module for Angolia Instant Search completely integrated with the amazing DX that Nux, that Nux provides. I'm Matteo Rigoni, a front-end developer from Padova and an Algolia ambassador for some time, thanks to Chuck, our master of ceremony for today. I'm currently working in an amazing consulting company called Adams, based in Milan. Adams is an experienced design team that strives to conjugate communication, user experience, technology, and data. Working in the consulting business means being able to predict customer needs and help them achieve their KPIs with highly usable and interactive solutions. And although View Instant Search helped us a lot in the early stages of our partnership with Algolia, it lacked a couple of key features for us and our customers, server-side rendering support and an easy Nux integration. And that's why we have decided to build our own solution. Server-side rendering can significantly enhance a website's SEO rankings because search engines can easily index pre-rendered HTML content, leading to better visibility and ranking in search results. This means users are more likely to find the content they are looking for. But there's a catch. Although this might seem amazing on paper, the SPA approach is the recommended one by Algolia, because when a page gets rendered and cached on the server, users' personalization can get lost. But sometimes, guidelines doesn't suit customer needs. For those of you who are not aware of the front-end ecosystem or doesn't know much about it, Vue is a front-end framework similar to React because it uses Virtual DOM under its belt. But its reactivity system is based on signals. Nuxt, on the other hand, is a meta framework built on top of Vue that grants the end user a top of the class developer experience and a ready to use module ecosystem to integrate third party services and libraries. Why we use Vue and Nux as our daily drivers, I hope I'm going to show you in a second. We are going to go through a live coding session where I will show you how to create this simple search UI using Nux Swift Search. You can find this UI in the Getting Started with View Instant Search section of the Algolia documentation. And we're going to recreate in an easy and fast way. And so I can show you around what are the differences between View Instant Search and Nux Swift Search and how easy it is to set up a Nux application. First of all, I want you to meet Nuxi. Nuxi is the Nux command line tool to easily scaffold and bootstrap your Nux application. With this command, I'm going to tell it to create an, a, a, pro, a Nux project called Algolia DevCon. I'm going to use BAN for this demonstration. First of all, because it's really, really fast. And second of all, because it's a new kid on the block and I like using new technologies. I want to initialize a Git repository. I'm going to CD into the, into the folder that is just created and I'm going to open it with my editor. In the other terminal, I'm going to launch, I'm going to move to the, to the folder again, and I'm going to launch the, the dev command. So right now, you can already see the welcome screen of Nuxt. The basic Nuxt barebone is comprised of a few folder and files, but the ones that we want to focus about in this demo are the Nux config file, which is the main entry point for the Nux application configuration, and the app.view file, which is the main entry point of the underlying view application. First of all, we want to remove the Nux welcome component and as you can see the page has become blank thanks to Vit and it's uh, really, really fast hot module replacement features. And then we want to add the Nux layout and then and the Nux page components. This enables 
handling routes within our Noxt application. To build our first route, we are going to create a pages folder with an index.view file inside. And so here I can say, hello, this is the homepage. And just like that, we have integrated routing. So what are we going to do next is to install the Nuxt Swift search module and integrate it with our Nuxt application following the documentation. This is the Nuxt Swift search documentation. You can find it at nuxt-swiftsearch.netlify.app. And the only command that we need to install it for now is this one. As you can see, it uses again Nuxi, the CLI from Nuxt, to add the module for us. What this is going to do is, is that it will install the dependencies that we need and also automatically edit the Nuxt config file for it to add the module. This is very, very convenient. And I really like this approach from, from the Nuxt team. Also for this demo purposes, we're going to install the instant search.css uh, theming library so th that we can easily uh, integrate the Algolia themes. After this, we go to the routing section of the Nuxt Swift search documentation to prepare the integration between the view router and the Algolia router. So we need to create this file and, in, and put inside of it this content. This will be fairly fast. App slash router dot options dot TS. And we're going to paste uh, these eight lines of code. What this is going to do is, uh, is that it will instruct the view router to digest deep queries in the URL. And this will be helpful later as we will see. After we have done it, we can move a component that I have prepared for this demo. And then we are gonna restart again the server. As you can see, we have our search experience component and we are going to put it in the index.view file. And just this quickly, we should have our search experience working. You might think that, that I've already done the component. Uh, and so uh, this seems really, really fast because I've copied it. But as you can see, and as I'm going to show you right now, these are really, really a tiny component with not much than 80 line of, lines of code. In the template part, we see the main entry point of our Algolia Instant Search UI um, integration, which is the Instant Search component. And it requires two props, the configurations and the widgets prop. And inside the templates, we can see some widgets that we have used to recreate this interface. For example, the career refinement widgets, the refinement list, and the AIS hits widgets. This is the, the style that we have appended to, to create the UI. And in the script part, we can see that it's just like 15 lines of code. We import the Algolia search SDK, we, um, we import the theme, and then we instantiate the client with uh, the application ID and the application key. Then we are going to pass these values to the configuration with the index name that we're going to use, the Algolia router integration that is uh, auto-imported and provided uh, by the Nux Swift search module and the search client. In this part of the script, we see that we have tell the told the instance which widgets we are going to use. And these widgets uh, comes with a configuration that we can pass here. And this configuration is fully typed. So for example, we can pass a transform items function or an excluded attributes or included attributes in the use as clear refinements widget. 
Another thing that I find really, really cool and convenient is that is that slots inside of uh, widgets are typed as well. So for example, here we can type template v slot item or v slot, and we can see that these widgets can have two different slots, the item or the default one. Like with this less code, what we have achieved here, I think it's a lot. We can search and the search query reflects automatically in our URL. We can apply facets and the facets get automatically inserted in the URL as well. We can clear refinements and we can clear our search query. And as you can see, if I search here and I refresh the page, there is no content layout shifting or no flash of unstyled content. And if I view the page source, all the page source is, is server-side rendered, and this is by default. If we go to the view instant search um, example, there is no routing capabilities out of the box here, and trust me, it can be painful to set them up. And the page source is just the, the barebone HTML application without anything server-side rendered in it. So what we've learned here is that Nux Swift Search has SSR support out of the box. It uses the latest Vue 3 composition API under the hood, so it's really fast and it, and it uses signals. It has an accessible state from anywhere in the app. It has a seamless installation, TypeScript support out of the box, and an easy routing integration. What's next? We have a little roadmap in our documentation. And the main thing that we want to do is implementing the missing widgets from Vue Instant Search and also provide some testing so that we know that Nux Swift Search implementation is the same as Vue Instant Search. If you want to help us, click here and go to the GitHub of Nux Swift Search. Maybe leave a star if you want or open some issues. Thank you for joining me for today. I hope you enjoyed uh, a brief introduction to Nux3 and Nux Swift Search. You can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Discord, and also on the Algolia Discord, where I will be very, very happy to help you with anything view related. You can also find the company where I work at https slash atoms.studio. Thank you again and happy coding. <laughs>